Speaking of G diffusers, uh, we're back for the next part of our uh, space battle tonight. So I think it was the start of our turn. Yeah, Vanderhorn is up. So you get basically this is all pretty fluid over 15 minutes each. I think each round is 15 minutes, so it takes some time to com complete these actions. But oh, you've wow, basically okay. seen Carmela do this action where you got some good shots off, and as you like make away, there's a virtual display of the ship, and you can see the havoc like get repaired basically they, there's an indicator like hull breach imminent hull breach imminent and then they, it like go, it clears away and the ships circle round basically and 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 look to re-engage the havoc is uh at least positioned to it's unclear what their intentions are next they you won't know until they take them but you guys are up all right um we're feeling we good out. we feeling good go around for another shot Let's do it. Let's finish them off. All right. Um, we'll put, uh, yeah, comms first again. Uh, Jimmy, I have a question. Yep. Do If I if I go above and beyond, does it have to be a basic skill or can it be a psionic skill? Because all it says is skill. Which one? Uh, above and beyond. Uh, no, so that's any skill. So that, that is open to any skill, as long as you tell me how you're using it. Okay, cool. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go above and beyond. I'm going to use my tele telepathy to telepathically, uh, telepathically link everyone together. And mm. instead of us having to communicate via, you know, talking and taking time, I just streamline the information to everyone's brain. So it all funnels through me and back to everyone. Cool. Does that cost you effort normally? Uh, well... Not, not really, since since they're all we're all part of the clue, and I have a. Um... Yeah, there's. I mean, I would say in this instance it would just because it's Jorans and Carmela, and you do have an ongoing well, link with the core party, but like. Well, no, because I, I by this time I I have spent more than uh, a few months with with Jorans and Carmela, which means I would have had ample time to have set up that link with them. I would say you've had a month with them. Uh, but that's fine. I, I don't think it matters for this fight anyway. Uh, so, yeah, you, you won't have to spend effort for it. You've got plenty of effort anyway if you want okay. to do it. But yeah, this only this linkage, this degree of linkage to ma to match with the above and beyond like mm -hmm. um, rule or whatever is is this something that you can do, but that you can't do ongoing um, in terms of the difficulty of this sort of synergy that you're trying to create just mm. so we so okay. it's not, i don't want you to be able to have a psych attack of vegas psych skill and you basically default get above and beyond every round you know what i mean so mm. okay that's why i was saying if i could make you spend effort for it i i'll say you don't have to spend effort for it but this is something that is takes an amount of energy and commitment to yourself and to everyone else in the crew because they're all really focused mm -hmm. on their specific systems they're working on that it can guide ease them for the time, but you would have to do it again next time. Okay, that's fine. All right. So, so... cool. So so you're you're telepathically linking. Go ahead and, and roll your nine. Uh, all right, I just barely made... nailed it. Oof, that was close. <laughs> wow. What's your bonus to telepathy? Bonus to telepathy is plus two for the skill, um, plus three from wisdom. But do I only get skill? What? It's the skill itself. It's a skill. Yeah, so, so yeah. Plus two. So you guys get two more. Uh, so three, three, total. Get, you, three total. Three total. So it's the skill hey, level nice. plus another one. So three. So three command yeah. points. So you guys are all suddenly interlinked where you can all see through each other's eyes. This actually would make, if a crisis came up, handling the crisis a lot easier. I would take this into account. But you're all basically, for the moment, uh, seeing through the lepidomo hive mind eye basically um it's more intense than the just basic te telepathic link than or it's it's beyond more advanced than the basic telepathic link that you experience you're all of one mind for the moment and for this right. um you can you give out your instructions however you want selfie but it's like everybody anticipates them sure um yeah so, who's next? Selfie, you're a hypnotoad. I, <laughs> I, wow. I don't speak. I just think about engineering. For some reason, I'm suddenly filled with the sound of Selfie's voice in my mind. It's quite unsettling. Uh, I'm also going to go above and beyond and just get a shit ton of command points on this so we can go in for the kill. 
Um, you see, like, all non-essential systems just, like, cut power as, like, Varla disconnects anything that's not crucial for engineering and reroutes that energy towards the, uh, the bridge for the captain to reassign. Nice. Uh, so you're doing uh, program skill yeah. uh, once again. And what's happening is, as you're doing this, you're cutting power to the, to the cargo area. So it's going to go in blackness. It's actually going to be on reduced, uh, like, uh, life support. It won't have an effect immediately. Ah! Powering down all non-essential oh. systems and mm -hmm. even redirecting all power as possible. Yeah. So go ahead and make your roll. Boom. There it is. Another so three got, command uh, points. Yeah. So six command points got total. Got six? Yeah. Holy cow. All right. Um, I'm going to do support support department for bridge actions again. Mm -hmm. For Carmel do evasive maneuvers. And I... Uh, okay. Yep. I, I, cool. I kind of unbutton the sides of my Ushanka hat, clip them underneath my chin, like strap in, ready for... Uh, a face of maneuver. Yeah, and so Carmela's roll, if I go back. Good. So yeah, Carmela just nods to herself, doesn't say anything, but is locked in. You can hear her, see her razor focus, and she guns the ship's engines uh, with renewed power. Boom. Yeah, so uh, she begins darting the ship around. Um, uh, attempting to stay on the, the opposite side of the havoc from where the plasma beams focused is how the narrative would say it. But for the mechanics, you gain the plus two AC again. So you're right. up to six, 16 AC, I believe. Back to the 16. And our horn! <laughs> <laughs> Gunny, hey. it's all you. You got six points. And our horn! <laughs> Take my shots. Damn, yes! Roll damage. Out of the sky! <laughs> so that's six HP lost. Uh, HP minus, minus six equals 11. Go. Max, you want the ship. Now's your time. Yeah, you, you take a, yeah. a raucous blow. The ship, <laughs> the havoc, like its hull continues to sort of disintegrate b beneath the blows of your Reaper battery. Like it's. It's looking rough right now. Um, you see alarm indicators going off in your display of the ship's readout and health. Um, and you can see multiple fires have broken out on the ship, basically. I got him dead to rights. Do you want to open up communications? Or do I just blast him out of the sky? Um... I, mean, I haven't if you... missed the shot yet, so if... these guys got to be shitting their pants. Yeah, if if you want, like, I'll, yeah. I'll open the communications. Do we, can we, do we have, like, a free action to communicate, or is that going to be waiting around to the next turn to use communications? Uh, I think it'll have to be something that you decide to do not in between right, well, fuck rounds. It. I, I'll sure. just try and, uh, could they still get away? Yeah, target their engines or guns, or whatever. I'll target their engines. Okay, well, so fuck, you're taking... I... Yeah, fuck it. I'll just target their engines. Target their engines. So if or you're targeting that. a certain system... <gasps> oh, holy shit. Oh! Crit, crit, crits aren't a thing in Star Wars. No, it's still. not, but it's a, it's a minus four to hit, so it's Man. still a d20 plus two. Okay, mm. I don't do any damage to their engines. Uh, uh, you, do. you do. You surpass yeah, it. Yeah, damage gets through. Yeah. Oh. So it does have damage, that's it's two fun. damage. So the HP minus two is down to uh, nine, uh, and their ships. You hit their ships good, and the their spike drive. What happens hitting wait, the ship? Wait, wait. Do we do damage? Cause it's half of that, right? It's half of that, and then there's armor. It's half of that. Oh, half, like half, and then I forgot. I had to do like twelve armor. damage. So, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so you, yeah. So you take a shot, and you hit their 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 engines, but um, Havoc's crew is still piloting efficiently enough that uh, it's all superficial damage. The armor holds up around the the engine core. Okay. That was three, so you have three command points left. 
That was five, uh, right? He, I took two, I took two, he took two shots. shots. Yeah. Oh, did you take two? I only yeah. got the... No, no, so the second one was your target system. So it's fire one weapon, but targeting system is one command point, not two. Oh, so I could target their command... I could target their engines again? Well, so we made one shot, which cost two, right? Yeah. And then we made another shot with target systems. So the shot with target system is only a one command point action, not two. So yeah, there was three used there. So it was three command points used. You have three command points left. So I could, I could try to hit their engines again. Oh, Yeah, because okay. you supported you, you, you could do the same, so we didn't the same set the of actions yet. again. You could do another fire weapon and another target system if you wanted. So you do two rolls on the same thing? Okay. I'll still don't hit their engines. I could have killed these guys by now, but... Yeah. Okay, so you're down to two command points. Can I just keep shooting what? their engines? I... Okay, I, I'm i okay if this is how it is, but I think how it's written is to fire weapon and target a system, it costs three altogether, right? Because target That's, systems... That would make sense to me. Target systems oh, is you fire is, weapon right, and right. this. Okay, okay so, so, it's, <laughs> so it was two and then three, and yeah. then that one. Yeah. Or no, no, so it's two and then three. So you have... I will take that same roll... And you just fired your weapon. You didn't target the system. Yeah, it, yeah. So we you do, do you do two more HP damage. Okay. okay. Good. Yep. Yeah, that works. I did not see that. I did not see that. No um, worries. Yeah. I mean, hey, I was gonna. I wanted to go with it. The havoc is looking <laughs> rough. It's down to about a third of its HP. What uh, do they do? And, and they seem committed. Whatever they are. Okay. Interested right, I'll stop in doing fucking around with them now because they're gonna hit us this turn. <laughs> we got our. We, yeah. What do they do? Let's see, Carmela Holder, Holder, Holder Wild. I guess not. Said. It's nice too because we've been able to stop them from shooting for the last like two rounds. I mean, they took another clean hit, so. <laughs> Yeah, two and if they don't deal with their crisis, oh, they did deal with their crisis. Never yeah. mind, I'm wrong. The crisis is done. Yeah, that might have killed them. If it didn't. Can I make a copy of Rosebud and put it on their ship once it's ours? Okay, so here's I think we're here's gonna what's going to happen. The first is uh, Atlas. I need an opposed int program. Opposed in program? They're attempting to defeat ECM. Can I help him in any way on this roll? No. No, it's it's yeah. just opposed. It's program int, right? Yes. Okay. You need to beat a seven. I got you. Yes! <laughs> okay. That's really good for them. Nevertheless, they're going to go fire their plasma again. Uh, cannon again, and they're firing to disable your Reaper battery. Hmm. Less than 16, less than 16, less than 16? God! Oh, thank <laughs> God! <laughs> oh. You, you imagine hands, a captain <laughs> standing over like a sparking panel, just shaking his head. And that's the Havoc's <laughs> turn. Uh, I haven't been advancing this counter, but cool. Uh, Vanderhorn. They're still lively. Do you want to even bother hailing them? Or just blow them out? Yeah, now would be the time to hail them if you want. Do you want to hail them? Try yeah, it out. We lose nothing by hailing them. Yeah, yeah. try it out. We'll oh. see what happens. I mean, we might All lose. Right, so, so, so Atlas sends an open communication, like like a secure communication comm to, to, to them, to their captain. Got it. Mm -hmm. it. There's a moment you're calling. And a screen comes up. And you see... um. A dude with like dreadlocks, uh, you know, youngish. Uh, he's got like blonde dreads. Um, kind of got like a like a vest that's that's torn in some places and beaten. And he's leaning on and say, "Yeah, what what you want?" I like I like all of us are still telepathically connected, so I'm just sort of like uh, the the ship, like question mark in in our minds. <laughs> they need to abandon ship and surrender to us. I got them dead rats. Surrender, they're gone. 
so, give so... us the gun. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, Atlas just sort of uh, chimes in. We'll acquire um, your weapon systems. I ain't power. He goes. He goes. Dudes, I ain't powering that down. Your cargo's too valuable. We're out here on a mission. You want the sex bots? <laughs> He's like, like, like Atlas. Atlas sort of turns to the rest because, like, if someone wants to chime in, you can. It's it's open communications to all of you. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not even telepathic. It doesn't have to be. It's. it's hey man, I'll give you two of them for the gun. <laughs> That's a good deal, because if you don't take it, I'm going to blast you out of the sky. Yeah, dude. Let me just say that I've heard it all before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been in worse situations. I and I ain't powering down. I ain't powering down my, my sick plasma cannon, all right? He needs to die. <laughs> All right, we'll see how you feel in a moment. All right. Boom. He gives you the finger and switches off. <laughs> I, I fucking drop my pants and I moon him. <laughs> he doesn't see it. Uh, Jimmy, mecha mechanically, I don't care about their ship really, but their gun seems pretty cool. If we if we destroy their ship, can we salvage the gun? Or is the way to do it disable we'll their to... gun? We have to figure out what happens as the ship is destroyed uh, okay there's different rules for like how much of the ship is left if if that's what happens okay cool um okay well then was that was that um the comm station's action uh i'm gonna I say feel like no I'm that was in between a... that was yeah. in between and okay. now it's, it's you you offered him terms and he he gave you the finger all right cool comms you're up uh Jimmy, can I can I continue the tele telepathic contact or no? No, no, it's it's now reset. You'd have to make the roll again. All right, I, I will I will do that then. I'll make another roll and I'll commit effort this time if that if that's necessary. So, because, uh, yeah, I'd say you'd have to commit effort. Um, difficulty mm -hmm. nine is fine. Uh, yeah, make the roll. Let's just see. Okay. Boom. Boom. Nice. Three free points. There you go, buddy. I want everybody on the ship to do a mental effect save uh, or a, a psychic save, whatever it is. Uh, this isn't going to hurt you in any way. That's what, I, they, all, that's what they all My say, mind is not built for this kind of stuff. Yeah. Mental exactly. effect save. Okay. Damn, Carmilla. Carmilla's fine. Uh, Selfie's fine. I need to make one. Varlo, Varlo, so you, Varlo, uh, you take a point as system strain. My God. This is outside the rules, but we're doing things outside the rules anyway. And what I'm saying is, this is too intensive contact, and so Maximus, you take a point of system strain. You need to roll for it. Jorans and Adair. Uh, Adair isn't on the ship. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you dropped him off, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. We yeah, we dropped him, off. him with the sketchy side. Yeah, we, and not the. We, we totally this did. sketchy side. I, I, I had forgotten that that even happened. Uh, Joran's, I think, is just here. Let me see what this rolls and before I. Well, I mean, like he's not even he he's not even doing a duty. So is it even necessary to to roll for him? Like, did we not link him? That's fine. I mean, because the point being is like he's not part of the combat. So why would he? He could have he could have at any point if if. Varlo had to go somewhere to deal with a crisis. Jorans could man engineering, so yeah. in a sense that he's is part of the the whole. But, process. but he's on standby. That's that's my point. Is like he's not necessarily. Okay, part so of you the... are connecting him, so he doesn't yeah. need to make. If you if you didn't link him, that's, that's yeah. I was curious if he he's bench. He's still wearing his tracksuit. It's fine. So two, you, you each take a point of system strain, um, which will basically it won't really matter. I just want want some accounting of the fact that that uh, something extraordinary is being asked of you, mentally. Three command points. Who's next? Uh, engineering. I will also try to generate some more command points for us with the above and beyond roll, and I just repeat the same action as before. I'm just killing the non-essential systems and keeping our 
cargo hold in the dark. I'm just so like... just like just like Atlas faced some additional barrier that wasn't to his role. You've depowered all of these systems and are supplying as much power as you can. Uh, you have to do some. You you can't take the same action. It's not like the ship can be just like depowered to to sort of funnel power to it. You you've powered down all the non-essential systems to funnel everything to gunnery basically. It's already happened. That's allowed you to get to this point. What do you do instead? Cut Joran's okay. porn bandwidth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why would he be looking at softcore porn right now? <laughs> why he, wouldn't he? He is. We we know he is. I, he's got fifty sex sex <laughs> sex uh, created humans for <laughs> humans created for the purpose of some sexual enterprise. All right, Jimmy. Uh, Varlo cracks into the uh, engineering terminal, and he removes any failsafe for uh, energy like fluctuation stability. And he puts in a uh, kind of like a, a trigger that on the next fluctuation to kill every other system like that would be um, what's it called when like uh, a power bar goes like a surge protector. He essentially inserts a surge protector that rather than, like, kills and grounds the charge, it diverts that energy somewhere else. Okay, so it sounds like if you're doing this, that your ship is liable to be, be no longer <laughs> surge protected in important ways, and that... Um... For a brief moment, but yes. Get that ground So, no, no, so this lasts in the same way that your action lasted your 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 previous above and beyond like re repowering this the the circuit it would last too. until the end of the turn i would argue because it's not like i'm i'm setting it to remain in play it's like on, on a surge i'm activating yeah, end of the turn trigger. for sure it's not instantaneous but it is something yeah. that you are leaving your systems vulnerable that if you say receive a crisis next your crisis will be influenced by this i'm just going to yeah, put yeah, it that's that way. Fine. Yeah. Or if you get a hit, um, it may have effe additional effects. So Sounds good. Cool? Cool. Yep. Make your roll. If it works. Ten. There we go. Yeah. Another three command points. Uh, but yes, yeah, so some certain safeguards have been redirected or repurposed on uh, the ship's central power core. Uh, it's going to be interesting if something happens. <laughs> we got to get up out of the sky. Let's on this make sure nothing guys. happens. All right. Um, I'm going to use my action for supporting department for the bridge again. To uh... what, do you, what do you think, Captain? Or you just get a like a quite like question mark thought in your head from Carmela. <laughs> uh, Carmela, look at their analyze their uh, their engine burning upward. We're going to go downward to go around them. She just sort of slight nod, and she's like sweat, like she's not used to this like intense like mental contact that's involved in basically steering you, your actions. She's like, she, she's, she got a crit. She's she's rocking it. She's loving like hearing she's, everyone. Oh, she's uh, she's got a huge grin, but you see yeah. like sweat beating on her forehead and in her concentration. She's like, that's uh, what Sophie thought about me. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody turned Varlo's brain off. <laughs> Nine nails it. Another yes. Plus two All right, three. that plus two bonus sounds good. All plus right, Max. Set up well. You may fire when ready. Disable what you want. You can do two disables or three shots. I'm just, I'm just shooting him. I'm just shooting it this time. All right. I can do three shots. We have six yeah. actions, so you can do three shots. Does that hit? Hit. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Slow down. Slow down. <laughs> Are they dead okay. yet? No, no, hold on. I gotta calculate it, dude. I like so. how he's like, I've been in worse situations before. Okay, bud. <laughs> I haven't missed a shot on this guy. And he's like, I've seen worse. Okay. Tis only a flesh wound. <laughs> I'll just keep surgically taking you apart. Yeah, okay. Um, In your second shot, you just pepper them. And you, the ship is... You're running circles around them. They don't know what to do, and you're just, like, pummeling them. You see a couple hit the bridge, and it goes dark. 
Um, and there's another, another couple hit. And I gotta read about what happens after a ship is destroyed. Because after that second hit, it is below zero hit points. <laughs> oh, man. I finally got to shoot the goddamn ever-living <laughs> hell out of something in a session. Okay. It finally happened. Oh, like, no. every time we got into a combat, it's like, you miss, you miss, you miss, you miss. This time it was like, yeah! There we go. It's all it's all the, the the sex trafficking feels you have right now, man. I know. It's like I just wrote a lot of that every time to break a ship. <laughs> all the anxiety of the job. Yeah. There we go. This is this is how Maximus deals with his anger, man. That's that's all it is. You just sometimes you just gotta destroy something. Beautiful, right? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. So remember that nine. That's important. Okay. Um, but it's yeah. Uh, you pepper the ship, the havoc. There's a series of explosions. Um, the spike core. Uh, rather the engines, their normal light of sort of pale blue or whatever. Uh turns like bright orange and then begins to flicker and then becomes flickering sort of erratically the reaper battery like maximus is sitting there describe to us as you're like pumping it like what you're shouting or what you're doing as you're like pumping and this like sh like shunts of like spray of like spike energy are shooting out you're muted 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 oh so his, his hands kind of bleeding and uh like through the bandage from where he punch Barlow in the nose. He's like, you've had worse, huh? It's about to get real dark, motherfucker. <laughs> he's just shooting. He's just, just taking shots, peppering the bridge, blowing it all up. Yeah, there's there's a series of thumps and finally explosions as key subsystems are hit on the Havoc. They, they didn't even fucking hit you guys. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> um... <laughs> What do they have? Do they have anything? Did her homework. Yeah. Never get into a shoot max match with Maximus. Uh, minus three, so they went down to. So what was? The, let me just get the counting right. So it's minus six. It's the good rules always come out whenever there's a moment of extreme crisis. Like, oh, there's an automated defense system on the ship. Nope, it's hacked off. Oh, we're in ship to ship combat. Everything's deadly. Don't even get hit. Yeah, so your last hits did uh, uh, six and five damage apiece, and it had nine hit points. So you did 11, it did nine. Uh, the hull is pummeled. Um, it ship dies out. It, immediately where it was moving forward, it irregularly sort of goes and begins drifting in space. And there's a series of explosions in the bridge, um, other explosions throughout the ship. And... Uh, and the havoc is no more. Dead. Yeah, you get a readout from um, Rosebud and says, Life systems on havoc are terminated. All crew death expected imminently. Save the gun! Should we? Yeah, can we say... Okay, I want to A, save the gun, B, maybe scoop up a survivor? Yeah, there's a there's an, an indicator that says core de core meltdown estimated in nine minutes. So that's not good. Is that enough time, or do we just need to skedaddle? I don't know. Car Carmela, how uh, how much time would the the ship need to clear the blast radius? Uh, I could get us away pretty quickly, but hmm, that's a good question. Like I, I mean, I feel like I, my my character would know if he if we can scoop up a gun and a person. Is this plausible, or am I just what's the mechanics here? So the gun would take work, would take hours of work to go do a okay. spacewalk, to go out there to extract the thing. Even if it's not destroyed, you'd have to analyze it. There's probably some remnants of it. Okay, so probably no go on the gun. Can we scoop up a person? We don't have like a we don't have our yeah, shuttle make or me... port. 
Yeah, I could I, I could see you guys making something happen though. So why don't you do a scan around and tell okay. me if you find any people? Okay. Is people have split escaped or, or yeah. jettisoned in some sort of wreckage. That's actually a good point. Is that me or is that like a or is that someone on the programming check that is making the comms department? What's going on? Is it just uh, eyesight? Am I just we're, scanning we're, around? So so you guys have nine minutes. It takes you about thirty seconds. You're still all on comms, but you're all yeah. you all can do anything now. You're not limited to your department. We can't get the gun. It took like hours of work, you said. No! I told you. Should this... Anyways, okay. Um, Atlas, can you reach out? Actually, you know what? That's that's actually fair. If you want to ask about if you can get the gun in nine minutes, uh, someone can make a roll for that. And it's a roll to figure out a plan. Varlo, uh, Varlo, Varlo, get your mind working. Fix. Uh, fix, uh, Varlo. Uh, fix. And then there's like that fix moment the ship, in Garth. like every like... Sherlock slash house slash show where like he brings up his mental map of every different slash scenario. Whatever, whatever, what's his face does in, in the like drunken Las yeah, Vegas you, movies, yeah. like the Bachelor movies. You take a line of cocaine, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sherlock Holmes, it do it. Yeah. All right. Am I rolling uh, fix or program for this? Uh, probably fix because I have to. Yeah, I would say it's fix, it. and I would say it's difficulty eleven. All right. I I would. It's an extremely that. difficult task. Uh, and then we would have to, uh, and then uh, why? Uh, why don't you make your roll, and then we'll work out. Oh. Okay. Okay. Nailed it. Uh, I've got it. I've got. I've come up with the plan. We. Uh, I would need. Uh, and then some of the. And then Varlo just runs and starts getting tools and putting them into a bag. And, and uh, uh, so. Here's what I'll give you. You have a method to do that. It doesn't mean that it doesn't have a cost. It means you can accomplish the task. Okay? And the cost won't hurt you, necessarily. You can activate one of your self-defense drones. It can, you can use its weapon system to cut away the tool and basically drag it away in the corresponding ECM shock of the spike drive exploding that drone will probably become unusable, but you will get whatever remains of the plasma cannon. You can get it away. You don't know, you don't have time to do diagnostics on it from here. The diagnostics would take longer than the ship has. And in doing this fix, you have eight minutes left now. So you have eight minutes and you have to decide how you want to, you got to, reprogram the the drone and whatnot. And I'll say you can do it. It's going to have to make its own, like, sink or swim check. But otherwise, uh, it, you're going to fry one of these things to get it done. It won't destroy it, just kind of fry it. Maybe and not the one unusable. that we took yeah, from you might be able the to, like, mining get a facility new... that I used to, as a makeshift bomb would not be sufficient in this case. No. Damn. No. I really don't want to give up these guys, but if you think the Ooh, gun you know is... What? You know what? That's a good point. That's yeah, what you would have to give up. It has a plasma cutter, right? So... Yeah, that yeah. actually makes more sense. You would be using this thing. You have it on board. That's actually a good point. I had, I had forgotten that you had the goddamn robot. Yeah, um, that's the one yeah, I use. It's the repair bot. You can use it. You spend it. It's done. You can't recover it. You can have its... You can essentially... You have its... Hulk probably that you can recover, but it's it's, it's electronics fried. are fried, so it's essentially just a box. Unduct tape the bomb off of it before it goes. <laughs> no. Good. It's a piece of it. So what do you? So that's what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. So you you spend uh, Carmela pilots the ship closer, and you spend um, a couple minutes, like three to five, reprogram the repair bot. That's what your role was. Should have been a program, but I think the fix was made more sense because you're re you're programming in a series of instructions about how to e extract a piece of hull, essentially, because that's all it is right now. Yeah. From a, a derelict ship. Um. Cool. So while that's happening, uh, it would be Atlas or somebody else. Do Do you guys want to make a scan for survivors? Uh, what would that be a program role or what? 
Uh, unless you can tell me something else, I would think it's a program role using your sensors like, to. Can you reach out with telepathy to try to like touch people? I, I, I mean potentially, but I, I have to see them in order to make a contact. Okay. Uh, so not really. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. It would probably be too difficult to see somebody in the spaceship. That's yeah, fair. exactly. I was, I was asking out loud. I'll do. I'll do program. I guess because that's 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 what I got. So, difficulty uh, eight. Difficulty eight. I got it. I nailed it. So you actually see um, a piece of the ship breaking away, um, and you can get you got life form readings of it. It's unclear about how many. It's clearly not uh, the whole crew because it's only somewhere between two or f and four. Um, but there is a couple breaking away, and it is not in a ship that's getting away. Uh, an enterprising, apparently engineer, is taking what is the like the boarding tubes, which are atmosphere controlled in a limited fashion, have been cut away from the ship and are slowly rotating away. And apparently, some have gotten away from the ship. I'll so, yeah. put it this way: they're gonna be vaporized um, in. Five minutes, or this happens concurrently with what Varlo's doing. Yeah, you're gonna have a choice about what you want to do. Yeah. Do so you I... want to? Do you want to go and you can scoop up these these uh, escapees, these people who've abandoned ship, mm -hmm. or you can get the repair bot in position to get maybe or maybe not a functional plasma cannon. I say we go for the plasma cannon if we have to make a choice, because plasma yep. cannon. Yep. <laughs> Yep. Now, I, I, I don't know. I'm going to come up with some role for it. I don't know right we, now. Yeah, I mean... But it could be completely fried. It could be more expensive to fix than to just buy a plasma cannon. And even if you do have one, you have to get it on the ship and then figure out a way to, like, install it. You don't have a, a second weapons port, nor do you have power on your ship to be able to support a plasma cannon. If the ship could have more weapons, it would. You'd have to redesign certain aspects of the ship to... Just put on a plasma cannon. Could we replace the our current? If this plasma cannon was working, could we replace the current weapon with this? Yeah, that would be one out, one course okay. of action. Uh, I don't know. I I think you have some free power, and I think if you took away the reaper battery and put this in, like the reaper battery is about the same in plasma cannon. I don't know for sure, but yeah, if you wanted to one to one change it, you could. Okay. Um, I I say let's go for the gun. It's bigger, bigger risk with bigger payoff. You won't know until after you've made this choice whether the gun's usable or not. Right, that's what I'm saying. Bigger risk, bigger Even payoff. Even if it isn't, I can use the salvage for something. Um, the, I mean, it sounds like the guys were just mercenaries. They wanted the sex box. so, Or just like uh, people You don't attacking. know where they came from. You don't know if there's others. You don't know what their interest was, what they were after. More, more people, more yep. problems. Yeah. More yeah. guns, less problems. <laughs> Let's go for the gun. Fair, fair enough. Cool. Yeah, so you, so Atlas, yeah, you, you identify, you see some, like, uh, people spinning away, and you sort of, like, calculate, and the rosebud sort of assists you, and you can see, like, a trajectory where you can go out, and, uh, like, a tow, like, one of your atmospheric tow lines can go out, and with some small chance that you know you would nail, like, you could, like, grab onto this thing and, like, sort of escort this piece of self-contained semi life pod away from the ship and get it to survive and um but then Varlow's over the comms he's like I've got it the repair bot's ready so Carmarlin nods and looks at selfie actually and says which one cat go for the gun got it Sweet. yeah the ship ship powers down quickly she comes in uh uh, Jorans is over in the cargo bay. Um, he's got it like, uh, like a, a, a cargo hall that's used. Um, uh, he, he vacates quickly gets all 50 out, which actually happens fairly efficiently when he gives a snappy order. They all get out all this, the, this, the, your cargo, the modified humans, all 50 of them funnel out as you're sort of talking through this plan. Like the counter's counting down is like <laughs> four and a half, three and a half, now two and a half minutes. But they, they funnel out and they're 
like a- after they come out, they go and squat in the hallway and look like passive and uh, go back to this, their sort of like deactivated state that they're in or whatever it is. Um, and he goes, Jorans goes in his vac suit, seals the cargo bay, has the repair body within, and he unlocks it. And he's strapped in. And uh, the cargo the cargo bay opens, and it's open to, to space, the cold space. And he, he goes out and pushes the repair bot, and it goes and activates. And, um, yeah, so I think you rolled, Barley, you rolled on an 11, so you've got a plan. Let's see how well this does. Give me another program roll. Difficulty he, difficulty 9. He got a About 12. How I got the 11. Hmm? He got the 12. I got. I had the 11. No, I meant his difficulty check was 11. And he oh, okay. But yes. Um, so give me... So there's going to be a couple other rolls here. Mm-hmm. I want to roll about how well you programmed it. I want to program roll how efficient, how long it takes. You are in position with about two minutes left, and your the success of your roll will determine how mm, cleanly you get this thing away from the ship. Okay. All right. Give me just a second. My monitor is a little bit uh, weirder at the moment, and you... then I will roll a thing for you. Yeah. So what is it? Difficulty. What do you think? How good are you? Your program skill is what? Uh, I have a plus two to programming, and I have the additional D6. Yeah, I was going to say a nine. Uh, if you wanted to argue that it was an eight, you can do that, but I don't think it will uh, matter. I, but, yeah, it doesn't make a difference. So give, uh, give, give me a DC nine. Or skill check nine. There we go. Ten. So, yeah, repair, repair bot's pretty good. And it's going to know to cut more off rather than less off. That would have been the problem. Um, so it goes out. Um, and you get it. You're, you selfie back in the bridge. You're getting warning indicators about a, the spike drive being critical. The core meltdown, yeah. And, uh, yeah. And um, Carmel's like, 30 second mark. We'll take, we'll take a bit of a hit. I can wait longer than 30 seconds and take more of a hit, but I don't know what's going to happen after that. Stay for 30. Let's get the gun and go. Yeah, no, in other words, she's saying you're at two minutes. She can go down to T minus 30 seconds and get away with oh. minimal impact. All right, gotcha. She says I can go longer than that, uh, but it gets dicey in that, in that window, just so you know. Okay. So yeah, the the repair bot goes out and it executes its uh and this I'm gonna need you to make the rolls here, Kevin. This is gonna be for Jorans, who's gonna be in charge of corralling the uh the repair bot to make sure it gets back in and how efficiently he does it. Okay? Okay. This is uh let me just check. Okay, his roll is a two is a plus one, so it's gonna be a two d six plus one that you're gonna roll for Jorans when this comes up. Okay. But yeah, the repair bot goes out. It, it you see it like using its laser cutter or its plasma cutter, whatever it was, and it, it like carves out a section of the ship, and it's a it's clearly badly damaged. There's structural issues with the the cannon as it's brought out. And like you see sparks as as it pulls away as its computer infrastructure is separated from the rest of the ship. So it's unclear still until you analyze about how intact the the gun is. And it's large. It's about twice the size of maybe maybe two and a half times the size of the repair bot, which is like a six foot tall bot. It's a long piece of equipment. Um, but it's got it. It's secured, and it like turns back. Uh, remember, this is something that operated in, uh, in like a land environment. It doesn't have thrusters to it, sure. but you you programmed it to like use its cutting to like push away from the like the ship hull, and so it's drifting. So it's getting away from where the 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 direction of the havoc hull is going. 
It's going to be up to Joran's rolling to be able to push off from the Vanderhorn, grab it, and corral it back in. Okay. So this is like whatever the equivalent of well, like an athletic or like J- a physical drill. Jimmy, sure. I'm curious. Like, we, none of us could have helped with this. It's just Jorns, because like. Well, Jorns was the one who was down there. That's what I'm. Well, like, I, I, I figured if if it's been like cause... five or so minutes, right? We can shuffle around. Yeah, because because yeah, I will get you. So Jorns Jorns sealed the airlock. Mm-hmm. Who was in there with him, and what are they about? Atlas is there with him, and he's he he's in he's in a vac suit and looks very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's so, it's it's very slimming on him, um, and uh, yeah, he's there. Yeah, is there is there a lepidoma vac suit? Have we used it before? Well, if not, I can. I, I yes, we have used it before because that's how I got into the into the the what you call it, the danger zone where all the pretext stuff was. I wouldn't have been able to get in there without it. Oh, the uh, the lava. Yeah, the lava place. We had vac suits there, or envir- yeah. enviro suits. Yeah, there there are vac suits for environment, but yeah, that's. I thought you stayed on the ship for that. Maybe not. No, I, no, no, he, I was. He there. came inside. I was. Yeah. I was yeah, okay. inside. Yeah. So. Okay. Um. Okay. We'll retcon it. You have you have some vac apparatus. That's fine. That's yeah. fine. I don't want. This is not a. A reason to hold up this this machination okay so yeah i i, so I what I, do you do uh i use <laughs> is there anybody else there i don't i don't so, know so if you've been kind of calling the shots varlo you had to be programming and you're kind sure, of like i'm up top remote still. driving maximus you could be doing something carmelo's piloting the ship but sure i'm lighting up a cigarette and patting myself on the back after nice. killing the shit, <laughs> he's celebrating, Dr- drinking yeah. a bottle of vodka okay, so... or something, <laughs> whiskey. But yeah, he's like he's like walking down to where all the commotion is. He's like, "You guys get my gun?" <laughs> yeah, you 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 see a bunch of like crouched, seemingly dazed or inactive, uh, like sex bots, like lining the hallway, basically all cramped together. <laughs> Keep looking beautiful. Don't move. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Alice, what do you do? I use my telekinetic this? manipulation to pull this thing in or help pull it in. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, so so it's what's the range in your telekinetic manipulation? Five hundred uh, miles. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's five hundred and forty away. Shit. Oh jeez. Hold on, let me let me double check. Uh I just want to know a scale. I'm not gonna like be like, oh, it's ten more than that. I'm not gonna. Do that. I know. <laughs> gotcha. Is it close or far? Is kind of what, you know, close, medium, or far? Telekinesis. Let's see. Depends on your level, right? Yeah, I'm level. I'm level. Two hundred kilograms for this ability. Four hundred. So I can. Doesn't vis- within visual unaided range so as long as i can see it i can pull it no shit okay damn so 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 you can guide this thing in but your telekinetic skill is not fine enough i don't think that you would be able to guide this necessarily safely in it like you can't like yeah this is level one you can pull it close to the ship you're gonna need joran's help to guide it in yeah, that's fine. My, my my whole thing was was to aid Jorans or or to somehow make this easier, right? You so totally that... can. This totally makes it easier. I'm not gonna say it's like completely like lower than seven. In other words, you just do it. But because you're you're pulling something in that you don't have a good sense of its size yet or like quite how to manipulate it, like you can finally manipulate things telekinetically, but you don't. It's in space. You can't really see it in a in a clear way until it's gonna be too close to be. For comfort so you're gonna and jorns are gonna work together he's gonna push off and receive it you're gonna pull it to him i need you to roll me i don't want jorns to roll roll me the telekinetic check so that uh, will inform that will inform jorns bonus for bringing it in and it's just to determine time basically okay so and this is unaided right correct okay 
Seven. Ooh, that's bad. That's like so, one of the worst rolls I could get. A two and a one. Yeah. yeah dang. So that's that's gonna be just a flat plus one to Jorn's. Okay. Jorn's check, which is a plus one, will now be a plus two. All right. Two six plus two. Two six plus two. And the DC I'm gonna set will be an eight. All right. Eight or better, and you get it in within time. At nine, there are consequences, and at ten, bad shit happens. Fair? Sure. Sound good? Cool. Yeah. Wait, wait. Ooh, wait. Yeah. If it gets worse as he rolls better? No, no, no. What I'm saying is. No. No, no, no. What I'm saying is. It's a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. It's a 2d10 for no problems. Oh. 2d8 for. Or an 8 for a failure. Okay. And a nine for consequences. That's what I meant to say. Oh, oh, okay. All right, Jimmy. I'm going to bring out a little blast from the past here, just for you. Ooh, Buddha. <laughs> All right, here we like go. Some, there's some stanky yeast smell in that bottle. I washed, I, I washed it out. I washed it out. You got rid of the magic. No, you didn't. No, he's fine. Everything's cool. Uh, I can roll to <laughs> save your crew, but I can't roll to... Um... <laughs> I can't roll to do anything else. So, Jorn pushes himself away, and actually, you give him a little telekinetic, like, push. And he goes, and, like, clean grasp of this thing, and he contorts his body as he goes around, so the, the, the weapon system is aligned. And then he waits. And Atlas activates Ooh. his... He's back. Okay. Atlas activates his, uh, his telekinetic powers... And right when it, when the when the like the point of the plasma cannon is aligned, it begins to pull towards the ship, and you can see the sh the havoc breaking up behind you, basically, or in front of you, Atlas, and you guys see it on your screen. And there's warning klaxons going off, like spike drive, imminent, imminent degradation of spike drive, critical in thirty seconds, or crit critical in forty seconds. Is what it says, and you look over at Carmela, and Carmela nods. And yeah, the uh, the thing comes in, and uh, as it sort of guides in, Jorans and you together, Atlas, sort of rotate it through the porthole, and you run over and hit the hit the um, uh, the airlock. But already Carmela is moving the ship because you you wouldn't get sucked out because you're in zero g anyway so like she's already as it's just cleared it the ship moves away the vanderhorn clears um there's a shock wave that goes something like a couple thousand kilometers but you she engages the spike drives and pff, blasts off and the wreckage of the havoc and whatever crew managed to survive are vaporized in the explosion the Rip. Vanderhorn. Ripping pieces. Escapes. Vanderhorn. And I think we should just stop it there. Yeah. It's a very quick, very quick session, but uh, I know at you know, Atlas. I, I know Patch is probably tired, and so why don't why don't we uh, why don't we wrap it up there? Do we do you guys have any questions about what's happening next? We're uh, gonna weld a giant new gun onto our ship. Yeah, you'd like it's it's, it's like you want to gain credits to pay for your ship, but then you're like, let's spend our credits on adding new shit to our ship. <laughs> Look, we just we'll figure it out. That is a very real thing that we are gonna get into some we'll very serious out. problem with later. Current us doesn't have to worry about the so expenses. This is totally something us. that Varlow Varlow in in a workshop in some place. You could do this work yourself. Yeah. If you had enough scrap, basically. I have a lot of free tech sa uh, or, or free screen salvage that I could use yeah, as scrap. Free tech, free tech scrap. You that would be that would be wasting valuable shit to like I'm, use I'm gonna, that. I'm gonna breed a bunch of guns and uh, a bunch of symbiote guns and just put them on our ship. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a hull. It's just symbiote. Symbiote. Hey, it's just symbiote hey, you know what? Sign me up for evolution. Uh, like evolutionary, like simulation stars without number, where it's just you in a lab, like figuring out how to get the right genome of gun that like conforms <laughs> to the ship, 
Yeah, like if, if you want to play that game, Dart, we could totally play that. It's like Spore or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys make off. You got the hulking. It's going to take some analysis to see how, how intact the plasma cannon is. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have um, Dart make us like a roll or two to figure out how good it is, because um, he was doing the shooting. But well, it's like it's like us. We had we, we won this fight with a hundred k weapon, and that's a seven hundred k weapon. Yeah, if yeah. It's, if it's, it's intact. Yeah. Even yeah. if we have to repair it, we're still gonna be make, coming out way ahead. Uh, I could say I could maybe I can come up with it on the fly with your rolls. So you made your your killing blows were two. So I would say that the cannon was operative and in good condition until that series of attacks. Yeah, because they were firing gonna, it up until the end. You're gonna make two rolls that I haven't quite figured out yet, but those two rolls will determine like I'll give like kind of like a a de facto HP counter for the plasma cannon where like zero is useless and 10 is in good condition and you know each roll you make will sort of reduce it i think that's i don't know like i haven't quite thought about how i'm going to figure out how intact the it is but i'll think about that okay. between sessions um rather All than right. with the thought process now but i think i think that's it the vanderhorn so what do you guys do what do you do for you're at the edge of this asteroid belt. The havoc is destroyed. It came from somewhere. But do you care where it came from? <sighs> Not I, I really. Don't think, I don't think we care enough to, to, to stop and be like, gee, let's 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 open the forensic science, right? Like, I think we're yeah. just going to try and get the job done and figure it out as we go. Yeah. I think so, Selfie's run into I don't know, pirate ships before, and that's what he thinks this was. Uh, just a whatever pirate ship. If there was something bigger and nefarious, then... We'll find out about it later, I guess. Varlo just like uh, sends a small like communicate to Atlas, just like a, a message, not even like verbal. This like um, curious that they knew what we were shipping and where we were coming from. Uh, potential grounds for negotiating a higher payoff once the job is complete. Yeah. <laughs> um, Atlas sends you forms for hazard pay, each and every <laughs> one of you. <laughs> This this was the same ship that was stalking us before, right? From yeah. the from the port, right? Looks yeah. looks that way. Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Since you've seen a ship, you don't know what stalked you in. You didn't even know you're being stalked. I revealed that now, but right yeah, from when you left Briggs University till okay. now, the moon base. Yeah, this is what was stalking. Okay. You. Yeah, I mean, I, I figured what made sense. Cool. Any anyone else have nice anything guys. else? Oh, all yeah, right. I think we, we we warm up the spike drive and, and space yeah. off. To Carmela, we got it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be a couple days to get to the edge of the system. Uh, I think you were refueled on the moon base, so you're you're good to make your spike jump. Yeah. Continue cool. on course, Carmela. Cool, and we'll make that jump beginning of next session. All right. Cool. Good work. Let's uh let's say let's look at goals real quick. Anything's accomplished. Mm. Uh, where do I put them? I guess I parables. <laughs> I did. I don't. I guess I put them in the the Google Doc. Is that right? It's in the Google Doc. Yeah, bottomish. Yes. So, current goals. Maximus conquer people. Not happened. Become proficient. Still working on it. Conquered new gun. <laughs> <laughs> Find planet. Rear child. Find Scion to help Adair. Slash get a better look into the cargo research work that has done if it can be undone. Um... So those are both an XP each. So I would say you get an XP because you found a place that a dare can be helped, or at least that they say they can help. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, I think it's still like a T, uh, TBH on that, like to be to 
to, to yeah be, no no so yeah. you found someone to help and you left adair there so i would yeah. say that that if you want to come up with the next uh, the next iteration of that that's why it was only one xp yeah come, we'll come up with the next iteration of the goals that follow up with the dare uh make sure he completes his training stuff like that um but yeah you totally found a place for him to be helped so party gains an xp point um collect materials research so nothing with varlo so complete the briggs university job you gotta yet. deliver it before that yeah. happens. Yeah, you you have to do some delivery. So I will yep. say you gain an XP, um, and you're at four out of twelve for the next level. And um, well, damn it, I, guys! If, if we had only been on our game before the session started, we'd have been like, "All right, new party goal: blow the ship out of this guy." <laughs> then we would have got XP for it. It's okay. Right. We know for next time. Uh, but yeah, let's let's cut it there. I think that's good. Yeah, nice job, guys. Fun good ship session. combat. I'm in favor of. You may be seeing a lot more of it. I <laughs> thought it was a lot of fun too. Yeah, yeah. that was cool way of doing things when you div divvy up roles and whatnot. That was a lot yeah. of fun. Props. Especially when it goes that smoothly for us. Yeah, yeah especially especially when you don't for... get hit. This is easy. Yeah. I can't I can't wait for another higher class ship to just yeah. show up and ream us a new asshole like yeah. or jb's gonna be like okay so they beat one ship but how do they do against 10. Yeah. <laughs> i don't think i don't think um i don't think i will treat the same way your psychic ability usage uh atlas in above and beyond i think i will i think you'd have to do something more extraordinary rather than i'm gonna just use the the ability that i use i i, I think we rolled with it and we executed a cost um but i will I will I will put some more restraints on you in psychic ability usage going forward if that's what you want to do as your your action just as an, a heads up because for example when I said that Varlo was like okay what do you do and he tells me about things that he's doing to the ship those things are changes to the ship whereas what you said is well I already ha I or rather I have a psychic connection to the crew i'm gonna do that but better i wouldn't let you do that twice in the future i didn't make that decision until later but if that so i let you do it twice this time and gave system strain instead but going forward i would say like okay you already have enacted this more efficient psychic connection where people can gain additional command points you can't push them further than that without either greater consequences in system strain or some other effect just just as a heads up i don't think it was well I, I i would argue jimmy that the the each round is technically 15 minutes so that's how long the connection is and each reoccurring role is me seeing if it continues sure and i would say that there's nothing about the particular skill you're saying that would suggest the skill the execution of the skill would be above and beyond, which would get, generate more command points than what anyone could do on their own with do your duty. You know what I mean? You're essentially generating command points for yourself that uses everyone else. So it's, it's a, everyone could just do their duty and each person banks one command point for the crew. And you doing above and beyond says, everyone can bank those one skill points if they want it, but you're doing command points on top. You're pushing everybody beyond their normal capabilities, which is not necessarily written into that, into the description of that psychic skill. Does that make sense? I, I guess. I see what I, you're saying, Jamie. Yeah, so, like, I, I was fine with it, and I, I, I rewarded a cost for doing it twice. Like, I would let you do it again. No, no, it's fine. Once. It. You, you're, you're creating efficiency, but I, I would say, like, I would push you to find out how to use another ability, for example. Anyway, why don't we call it there, guys? Good sesh. Yeah. Good out stuff. early. Good stuff. And right. uh, yeah. great job. So thank you. Thank you, Kevin. And sign us off. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, that's the end of our session number 12. So glad you're sticking around. And uh, please uh, give the channel a follow. We have some more sci-fi stuff coming up in the next few weeks. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, Damn it, what is this called again? Remnants of the Broken Plane?
<laughs> Dust of the old guard. Let's just say this is Selfie signing off. Just, this is Vanderhorn signing off. That's fine. Everyone, give me your best Vanderhorn. 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 Vanderhorn.